Okay, hi everyone. This is Mr. Fong. Um, this is the today is a holiday. I have told you that I will uh, upload a video. I will upload a video to Backbot. So for those who are um, who have time to go through uh, probably these few days or during this weekend, then you can try to recall what we have learned in lesson one. Um, before I start my lesson two, I would like to go through some of the important uh, important things. I think some of the students forgot or are unable to do this. Okay, uh, in Tinkercad, once you're inside the Tinkercad, uh, you can go to home area or you click this, uh, this nine cubes. Okay, you can click the nine cubes. After that, you come to create create a new 3D design. This is how we start our design. Okay, before we start, something important is the name. Okay, if you don't put a name, it will give you a random name, which is not so good. So if you're creating something, put your name here. And what is your topic? So let's say this topic is name tag. Okay, just put name tag. So when you export the file, they will follow your name uh, with the topic, okay, with the title. Okay, first thing I want to go through is uh, very quick. This is how you put an object into the work plane. You can see there's a name here, work plane. Okay, I when we go to the tutorial, you can click here to uh, to change the view. You can change the view by clicking uh, uh, this cube. Or uh, for me, I prefer to use my right mouse click. Then you can use a wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Let me go through this um, with you again. When you are starting your 2D design, okay, you only notice you have uh, white dots, uh, white dot, the four dots. You don't have the top, the top is a Z, uh, the Z. Okay. You want to adjust the size, this is how you adjust the size, still the same. But when you are when you do not want to, okay, for example, you make a mistake, I press Ctrl Z. Ctrl Z is to undo what you have done. So that is the quickest way, quickest way to uh, go back to your previous object size. Okay, 20, you see, 20 mm, 20 mm. Uh, this is by mm. You can even make it 0 0.1. So every, every time you make adjustment is 0 0.1. Okay, so this is not so important today. So we look at here. You have one more thing called the height. Okay, this is the height. You can, uh, you see, you know that uh, this is 20, this side is 20. If I want to make it a cube, I click here and I type in 20, press enter, I can get a cube. For 3D, there's one more black color triangle here. This is how you leave it up. Okay, you can leave it up. You can place an object on top of another object. For example, I start another object. Okay, I, I change this object to another color. Okay, I want to put this one on top. Okay, um, so that I can uh, put it on top. Now you can see they merge together. It's okay. But if you want to put it on the floor, the work plane again, what you do is you can drag it out. You can press a D donkey, a D D donkey, so that it will go into don't go onto the work work plane again. Okay, delete one. There's one more important uh, feature mentioned in the tutorial is duplicate. Control D, donkey, eh? Control D. When you duplicate, it duplicate the object onto itself. So you can use your mouse to drag. Now you have two cubes. Then previously you have one cubes. Then another question, another exercise we have is uh, this, this object is here. You can look at here. Okay, when I duplicate again, of course, computer will automatically adjust the height for me. If I increase the size, it will also increase the size for me. And now the question is, there's something called alignment. Eh? You hold down the shift key, you select more than one object. Or, like me, I prefer to select like this. Then there's one align button here. You can see this one, align all to the center. This one is height. 
see if i put here all of them will go to the center uh, the height so usually what we do is we center all three together uh, what, what else do you want to center Maybe you try this one mm, all together okay become one one piece uh, you may not see the uh, how we can use this one but when we start the first exercise you see how useful it is huh? so I did it all this and let's start together and this is your first exercise first we need to create a name tag a name tag let's say my name I, I create F O N G. Um, for first exercise I prefer all to be in capital letter I also don't want you to put foreign letter yet Okay, that one will be later and then you notice that this one have height okay one uh, 10 mm is very high already so we, we put it until maybe six or seven is good enough and one question here all these objects are separated that means when i print it out it will be separate f is one place lo is one place m is one place g is one place they cannot link together so your job okay my question here is how you link them up together you have many many ways to link them up together one method hmm. i lower it down lower than 7 mm okay so this is seven you can check from here seven mm so i lower it down to maybe this three three will be enough for me i change this to another color so that you can see easily see now the word F O N G will be printed on this another object in an object here. Okay, now you know that F O N G is one object and this uh, platform is another object. How do I know they are in the center or not? Select, align, center, center. Okay, so sometimes on the if you view it on the computer, you may not see it, uh, but actually they already put in the center for you. Computer, don't make mistake. Uh, only we make mistakes okay this is one sample but today we do something easier okay i don't want this i just want it to be as simple as possible so let's try something like this hmm. 4 mm 4 mm is good enough uh, then 3 mm hmm. before we put underneath you can drag it up like this Okay, I want this object to be uh, in between so that it can hold the words together, uh, all these characters together, hold the characters together in one word. Okay. Now I created one. Do you want to create another one? If you create another one, the problem is it is uh, there are too many settings. You have to adjust the height, the width, the, the length. It is very troublesome. So the easiest way is select the object, then press Ctrl D, and then you duplicate it. You can drag it out if you don't want. Let's try again. Click on it, Ctrl D, then use the down arrow key on your keyboard so that it aligns properly. Now I just need to click on it, move it up to the desired location. Click on the second one, move it up to the desired location. Hmm. Now confirm, I can confirm that this object is properly um, linked together. Okay. Since we're going to create a, a name tag, so you need to create something to hold the name tag. The easiest way is this tube. I don't know whether you can see tube. Uh, tube, uh, this orange color tube. You can use this one and you can put it somewhere here. Okay, but before that, try not to make it too high. 3 mm will be good enough good enough now my question how do we know where is the center uh, so you have object you can you can select multiple object like me select all these use a grouping group together so computer take this as one object now if i put this ring somewhere here and now i select both object i select alignment once i click center it automatically find the center for me Okay, then next thing is, uh, do you think this ring is good, is big enough, or is too big? Actually, it's too big. So what we need to do is hold down the shift key so it don't change its shape. Change to the desired size. 
increase the height just that three mm. then one more time is it in the center select align center okay done so this is your first exercise uh, I, I don't want you to just give me something simple like this I want you to think um, use your imagination objects can be combined together what do I mean okay let's look at here okay, I'll give you ideas I select I move it away first so that I have my okay, some space here let's say okay I want to lower it down I use 3 mm so everyone use 3 mm hmm. later when why use 3 mm one of the reason is uh, it's easy for me to use my our 3d our color 3d printer so I paint by layer so paint by layer will be very fast if I paint my object for example f1 color o1 color n1 color and g1 color so the speed the the duration let's say if I take if I if I need to take uh, 10 minutes to print this object it will take uh, more than 40 minutes okay because it change you need to change color every layer you, you need to change four times to five uh, four times um, and because of that every time it change uh, it will take one minute to swap the filament and it will take 20 cm of filament okay so it's a it's a waste it's a long duration not practical so for learning purpose we can do by layer that means i ask the printer to print until this height before it starts changing color okay that is one way that we can uh, we'll be managed to print out uh, 30 at least 30 objects um, in one week uh, since you have a secondary class also we have secondary cca uh. okay let's see how to join i just want to give you the idea until here okay, okay. again plug in three Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want to make sure it's in the center, just click these two together. Now it's in the center. Mm -hmm. it's in the center. So this one also you can if you if you want to make it bigger, go ahead. Height three. Height go here. Click three. Mm -hmm. Okay, want to make sure it's in the center. Ah, beautiful. Then you can select both group them together. Now oh, you can see it become one. Okay, so you can just drag and change without changing the height. The height is still three. Uh -huh. Then you can uh, uh, let let let's don't use the orange one orange hook. I just want this one. Oh, we can go in. Okay, hmm. change color. Uh, change the blue. It doesn't matter. Okay, since it's 3 mm, it doesn't matter. We are using this uh, the bottom, the blue color object to hold the, 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 the word F O N G. Eh? Uh, this is one way of doing it. Then you may think, hey, then how, how I create the hole? Very simple. This is a hole. Oh, control Z. Mm -hmm. So what happened is if you select these two objects, you merge. So it create a hole. Okay. Um, don't restrict yourself to this. You can let me see. I have I have some ideas. Okay. How about this object? Okay, how about this object? Uh, you know how to create? I give you an idea. I gave you the, the hints already. Objects can be combined. You can combine objects to create different shapes you like. Okay, I leave it to you uh, on in this area. So you, you think about it, what you want to create. When you have finished, and let's say uh, I don't want this anymore, or okay, or I don't want the, the key shape, I just want this one. So I uh, leave the key shape out. Huh? So this one, I put it back somewhere here check again is in the center or not so center great now i don't want this object if i don't want i can just delete it no problem then i can select this object here okay you can choose to merge it first become one color doesn't matter when we print the time when i print i will tell the computer i will tell the printer how to select color 
uh, I can show you during the lesson how our printer software looks like. Okay, now check. Is your name correct? Uh, your name is here. The title of the object is here. Then you click export. Okay, now you can feel free to select everything in the design. If you did not merge it, let's say I have merged it, you select when you export, they will say only the selected two shapes up to you. Both method works. So you can select STL. Okay, you have this file exported. Now what do you need to do is go back to the blackboard. For today's lesson, uh, I put it under holiday uh, bonus. It's an optional lesson. That means um, if you're free, you can go through this by yourself. Uh, if you are unable to complete it, doesn't matter. We will do it during your CCA lesson. Eh? So click on it. You will see new assignment. I put uh, there's a due date which is next Tuesday. So it is like this in my lesson. So if you, I, I purposely set a due date so that I don't have to go back and check for previous weeks. Uh, I leave it. I give you two weeks to finish. Uh, then two lesson. Like for example, the first lesson with due date is today. Then this one, uh, the due date is 24th. So if you um, only, let's say there is an exercise in lesson one, but you miss the due date, then you submit it in lesson two uh, submission area. Just make sure that your name is correct so that I know uh, what you are printing, what you are submitting to me. It's easier for me when you have a small mistake, I have to go back to your Tinker cap to make some correction for you. Okay, now you click on this new assignment area. Okay, you need to view instruction. I uh, hope, hope you can see a view instruction, view instruction here. Uh, you must view the instruction first before your software will load. Uh, you click on the submission area here. Okay, click on submission area here. Select attachment. Search the file name STL file that you have just downloaded. They will they ask you do you want to put this as this name or do you want to have another display name? I think this is good enough. I know who you are, I know what is your topic. Click save. Then you notice the file will be inside. One is fully loaded, uploaded. Uh, the submit button, uh, this this black button here, uh, will be available. Then you just click submit. Okay, confirm submission. Once submit, this is a receipt of submission. Okay. They did mention the size of your work. Uh, okay, and then the date you submit and the time you submit. Okay, and then assignment, I think, uh, no problem. This is a small method. You can just click close. You don't need to keep this one. Mm. So this is how you create your work in Tinkercad. Once you complete, you export it, and then you upload it. To Blackboard Learn so that I can get from there to print out your work for you. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye-bye.